At first at five, the doors of a local martial arts school remain open after the arrest of its owner. The owner stands accused of sexually assaulting a 14-year-old girl. But as Katrina Weber shows us, the parents of the other students, meanwhile, are keeping their mouths closed. Video of 40-year-old Joseph Rene Caballero in handcuffs this past weekend does not reflect his reality today. Records show he is out on bond, but the charges against him remain. In a news conference yesterday, Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar said the owner of the Exception Squad Jiu-Jitsu Studio took advantage of a 14-year-old student, sexually assaulting her after grooming her with love letters. It appeared that the notes were from like an anonymous uh, uh, secret admirer or things of that nature, trying to establish a relationship with the young lady. Salazar says although this had been going on as far back as last fall, the girl only spoke up recently. Caballero now is ordered to stay away from all children except his own. Employees, meanwhile, are keeping his business near Culebra and Ingram Roads going, opening the doors this morning for a summer program. The few parents who did show up here today refused to talk to us on camera. Now, one man did tell us that despite what happened, he has no plans to pull his daughter from their lessons here. He says this is one of the best studios in town. It's hard to trust nowadays. Melissa Carangera had plan to send her sons to the school. Now she's not so sure. That hurts me. Deep inside it hurts me more than anything because, I mean, even though it's not my daughter, that affects me as a parent. Sheriff's investigators worry there could be other children who have been affected by Caballero. They're encouraging parents of his students to talk to their children and report anything unusual. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.